We are going to have so much fun with layering today, or another word for that is glazing. Um, we're going to learn some fun techniques with our beetles today. So we're going to get our everything ready. We've got our um, reference picture there. You can print that out. It's in all of your stuff for Nature's Art Club. And we're going to get to painting. So I'm starting here with a wet brush. This is a number six brush. And I am just going to get that lemon yellow with just a touch of cadmium yellow in it. And I'm going to just do the under part of some of these beetles. Now these beetles, I'm going to give you a challenge. So I'm not going to tell you the names of these beetles, even though it's going to be really hard for me because they're some of my favorites, because I want you to see if you can figure out what they are. So as we go, I'm going to try really hard not to refer to them by name. But they're pretty, most of them are pretty common here where we live in Idaho. Um, so that will give you a hint. They're common in the Northwest area in Idaho. Okay, so I'm coming in with some red here. The bottom beetle I used the cadmium red, which is more of an orange red, and then for this one up here, I'm mixing the alizarian crimson with the cadmium red. It's mostly going to be that darker red, which is the alizarian crimson. Okay, and then I'm moving on to this beautiful blue beetle. I'm using my ultramarine blue. I got a little too much there. I want to lighten him up just a little bit because we're going to do some layers on top of him. So this is our bottom layer, so we want to keep that light. And just going right in to all those little edges using the tip of my brush where I need to. And as you can see, I'm just lifting some of that paint off and just drying it off on my paper towel. I have what's called a thirsty brush, which means it's washed out um, and it's dry and it's, so it's really good at soaking up excess paint. Okay, now I'm going to get some more of that alizarian crimson and we are going to do a really cool effect on this middle guy. So putting some alizarian crimson just on the top parts of him, of his little exoskeleton, and then just bringing it down, and then putting some right on the top of his head. You might be wondering, what is she doing? He looks black. In the, he's kind of iridescent. So I'm doing, I'm making it iridescent. Um, you'll see what happens. It's pretty fun. Okay, so this is cadmium yellow. That's what I'm using here. I'm just letting those colors kind of mix together, bleed into each other. Okay, so now I'm going to trade brushes. I'm going for a smaller brush. This is a number two brush. If you don't have a smaller brush, you can still use your number six, just make sure you're using the very tip of it for these smaller details. So I'm getting some of my Viridian green here, and I'm going to paint the body of this guy. So as you can see, I already put some yellow down. So now I'm going to just take my brush and carefully go around those little circles there at the bottom of him, and then filling the rest in with the Viridian Green. I'm curious what kind of beetles you have around your house. We just moved to some property here in Idaho, and um, we've seen a lot of beetles that we had never seen before. It's pretty exciting. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going for my uh, burnt sienna, which is the lighter brown. I'm just going to get to this guy and give him a brown head. And then just really carefully going over those lines. And don't worry if you don't get those lines perfectly straight. It will look just fine. Okay. Wash out my brush. And we are going to go for a little bit of the intense blue. We're going to mix it with some of that brown to make a black. of this little guy. Okay. We'll move on to the bottom beetle and just do a little bit of uh, filling in those little stripes on him with that black that we've made. which we're going to do with our black pen later as well, so don't feel like you have to fill all of that in. Okay, let's move to this guy. So I'm going to just get some more of that intense blue and mix it with my brown that I already had on my palette. I'm going to fill in some of those areas on him. You can just use the tip of your brush to get some nice fine lines. going over some of those lines that I've made that I traced on there. You can choose to do that or not. It's up to you. And then I'm just kind of shading it in. I'm just using a little bit of that paint that I already put down and I'm just giving it a little bit of dimension so that it has a little bit of a highlight on it. Okay. some little dots on him. Or should I say her? There's a hint for you. And then some dots on that little guy. Okay, I'm going to go back to my number six brush because we're going to do this middle beetle. So I'm getting some intense blue onto my brush and I am just going to go right over all of that paint that has already dried. So this is layering or um, sometimes it's called in the watercolor world glazing. And I'm going right over those colors and I'm going to let them just kind of shine through. As you can see it's creating a cool iridescent effect. Same on his head. Just being really careful in those narrow areas to use the tip of my brush. And then I'm going to come into the little neck area with my blue. And then the legs which I'll fill in more with my black pen later, but this just gives me a nice base color. Okay, now I'm going to mix some black. So I just did my intense blue with... I'm going to use my smaller brush here. My intense blue with my burnt umber, which is the darker brown and I'm just going to bring some black in there. And I'm 
using my smaller brush because these little areas are pretty narrow. And just following those lines to give it a little bit of texture on his little legs. lines that I had. For this one it's pretty and I would say I would highly recommend going over everything with your sharpie just because there's so many little details with these guys. You can go over all of your lines once they're dry. Um, you can go over all of those little lines on your bugs. And I am just finishing this guy up. Just getting that last little leg. And once you've outlined everything, adding little details wherever you want, we're going to call this one done. Hope you enjoyed.